man. Hey. Hey. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, J2 Saucy. And look, man, I'm bringing y'all another reaction video. All right? Now, I told y'all, look, I told y'all I'm back, all right? Now, I know, like I said, I've been gone, you know, yesterday, yesterday, first day back, you know, posting on the on the channel, on the, on the tube and everything, you know what I'm saying? Um... You know, about to, it's about to be lit though, you know what I'm saying? Look, we about to close out January in the most litest way, you know? It's about, only about, what, six or seven more days, you know? So, we about to go, go ahead and go crazy. Now this reaction video, I know y'all read that title and you, you know what I'm saying? You read that title, you already know what the video I'm reacting to is called, you know? Simple, you already know I react to music, so you know it's the song that I'm reacting to. You know, cause I look with with the, the, the thing with me is I I'm just like y'all. You know, I have favorite YouTubers. I watch YouTube. I stay on YouTube probably about seventy five percent of the day. You know, I know what's going on. You know, I see the beef. I see niggas beefing every time. You know, it's YouTube. At the end of the day, that's what y'all gotta realize. I can sit here and react to the to beef. You know what I'm saying? I can sit here and look at this fake shit and be like, oh, there's going to be a fight going down. When in reality, all that's going to happen with these people that vlog, niggas is going to get out the cameras, they're going to record, and ain't shit going to pop off. You know what I'm saying? Simple. So, you know, and in the, in the slim chance that shit does happen, nine times out of ten, niggas really don't give a fuck, you know? Niggas is gonna go right back to being friends within a week. So, welcome, welcome to the life of being a YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? Um, simple as that, man. But, but for me, you know, I'm not really a vlogger yet. You know, yet. I say that with emphasis. Um, I will be very, very soon. But anyways, enough with that. Um, today I will be reacting to a new song by my boy, Chris Breezy Brown, Christopher Maurice Brown, um, who, by the way, try, almost, almost, let, let me just, hold on, the song I'm reacting to, by the way, is called Must Be, featuring Chris Brown, it's by, um, Rocky Fresh, featuring Chris Brown, so this is a feature, you know what I'm saying, and anytime Chris Brown is featured on the song, you know it's about to be lit. So, I guess, I'm going to just let the song play out first, and then I'm going to tell y'all what I was going to say. Um, and then that's going to be that for this video. So, let me just play this song now, so I can hear what this song is about. I'm fucking with the album, with not the album cover, with the, um, just the, the cover for the, for the song. I'm expecting some, some vocals to be dropped in this song. There he is, you know. I knew it. I knew it. I knew he was coming in with them vocals. Okay. He came in with the smoothness, too. He said, you must be long. You must be sad. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm, my vocals is trash right now. I'm sorry. Usually my vocals is on point, though, you know. So. Excuse me for my vocals being trash, you know what I'm saying? There must be something wrong with my voice today.
there he go with that freaky shit one more time. Every time, huh? By the way, this man, this man dropping the album, you know, very, very soon, hopefully. Um, it's called Indigo, for those of you that don't know, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think he's dropping a, a second single pretty soon. Um, I know he's, he's working on, like, a music video for the song right now. It's called um, Back to You. I mean, not Back to You, Back to Love. My fault, I fucked that up. The song is called Back to Love, you know? Um, can't wait for this one. I already listened to Undecided, and Undecided was, was a fucking goddamn fire ass song, you know? I've had that song on repeat ever, song, ever since it came, came out, you know? So, ain't no telling what he's about to do with this album, you know? It, it's obviously gonna be a banger, and I'm obviously gonna have to make a reaction to the album. Um, by the way, I listened to that Future album. I'm gonna say it. Y'all know how I, how I how I do with um, albums. I, if I don't like at least five songs in the shit, it's trash to me. You know, it's gotta at least have five songs. Like if you have a ten a ten track album, and only five of them songs is is good out of the ten, what the fuck I'm listening to it for? You know what I'm saying? But don't get me wrong, this, the album was good. Um, you know, future. I guess. I guess he he um he redeemed himself for for the trash he did with Juice World. You know, being carried and all on that album. Hey, they did a song together a couple years ago, huh? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I remember they did a song together a couple years ago. Back when um, Chris Brown was out here making goddamn collab albums and collab mixtapes with Tiger. Tiger? That was terrible. See what I'm saying? Like, I can usually hit that shit. My voice is gone. My vocals gotta be shot. Like, my music box, shot. Anyways, man. I was gonna tell y'all, which I'm pretty sure most of y'all by now, if you are on Twitter, like your boy is, follow me on Twitter. By the way, my Twitter name is at Goggles Justin. You know what I'm saying? Um, two G's. You know, Justin. By the, but you know what I'm saying? Hey, but um, if you have Twitter, you know what I'm saying. Let me do this real quick. Um, if you have Twitter, you would have known that this week Chris Brown was um accused of um raping someone while he was out in Paris for like fashion week, you know what I'm saying? Um they had a little fashion week going on down there in Paris. Um and Chris Brown I guess made his appearance um at one of the shows and everything, you know? Now um nigga I would say like I'm shocked when the when the story came out at first and it and it made headlines, like I would say I was shocked. You know, because I woke up and automatically I went to Instagram first and then I went to Twitter trying to check if it was real and shit, you know. And I was like, I'm not really shocked because cause this is what happens, you know. Chris Brown don't be trending when, any, when it, he does anything positive, you know. 
Chris Brown can give a million dollars to a charity and niggas won't even care. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy, you know? He can really do that shit. Chris Brown will really give a million dollars to charity and niggas won't even freaking headline that. That shit won't be trending. Bet, bet a million dollars if Chris Brown was to donate a million dollars to a cancer charity, niggas wouldn't trend that shit. His name wouldn't be trending for nothing but negativity. You know what I'm saying? Now, now later down the line, you know, like a couple hours later, the female that accused that, you know what I'm saying, accused him of, of, of raping, you know what I'm saying, her, um, I guess he, he took her back to a hotel or something, you know what I'm saying, whatever, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying, blah, say, blah, say. So it's later, you know what I'm saying, the story comes out talking about, oh, it wasn't really even him. So now we just out here throwing around the word rape, huh? That's what we doing. As if that man ain't a father, as if this man wasn't trying to just make music, you know what I'm saying? Man is over here trying to make music videos, trying to make an album, and you want to throw around the word rape. As if he ain't a father, as if he ain't got a daughter to look after. You know what I'm saying? A daughter to take care of and everything. Talk about it wasn't him. And then, and then luckily a couple hours after that, you know what I'm saying, he made a post. You know what I'm saying? He finally posted a, a picture talking about this bitch lying. You know, made me happy. You know, because it was obvious bullshit. I never even believed it um, one bit. You know, and they freed my man. Now, as for this song, because I know I was talking about nothing for um, a couple minutes there. But look, shut up. Don't care what you got to say. Now look, man. As for this song, the song was a banger, you know. Hey, I'm going to have to go ahead and put this in my playlist. Because this is fire. Um, if y'all have not yet listened to this song, go ahead and do that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to listen to some Chris Brown. If y'all don't listen to Chris Brown, slap the fuck out yourself. Like, you got you got to have some type of Chris Brown. I don't care if it's new, new Chris Brown, as they say, or old school Chris Brown music. You know, you got to have something from him in your playlist. You know? When, when niggas pass the ox, you gotta have something. You can't just have trash playing on, on the ox. The niggas is gonna be like, what the fuck is this, you know? You can't have goddamn, oh, bro, let me get the ox. All right, bro, here, here, take it. And then you can't just go and plug in the ox and then play Nicki Minaj. My nigga, I'm gonna look at you like, get the fuck out of my car. You know what I'm saying? Well, who the fuck is this? N Nicki Minaj? The bitch that can't make a goddamn fire ass album to save her career. You know what I'm saying? Garbage. Any song that she's made, trash. And and if it's good, it's because someone someone good was featured on it. You know what I'm saying? If the song is good, it's only because a good artist was featured on it. Like that song Bed with Ariana Grande was only good because Ariana Grande was featured on it. That's the only real listen, I made a reaction to that video to that song because Ariana Grande was on there. I don't give a fuck about Nicki Minaj, nigga. But y'all need to listen to this song, man. You know what I'm saying? Also, my boy Jermaine Cole, J. Cole dropped a new song called Middle Child. I might just film a reaction video uh, to that one as well, you know. I fucks with J. Cole, you know. That last album was kind of trash to me, but I still, I fucks with J. Cole. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it fucked up. Uh, but I think I've done enough talking, you know. Uh, done enough talking for this video. So I'm gonna just shut up and I'm gonna end the video there. Make sure you smash that motherfucking like button though before I fucking goddamn turn the camera off and before you leave, you know. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you ain't if you ain't subscribed yet. Smack the fuck out yourself again, you know. At this point, you goddamn have a black eye. You know what I'm saying? You got a black eye just for not subscribing at this point because you smacked yourself so damn hard because you felt stupid for not subscribing. You know? And you should. You should be stupid. You should feel stupid for not subscribing because I done been told you. You know? Turn your post notifications on too, man. Come on now. Hit the, hit the black bell. Come on now. Anyways, man, make sure as well that y'all leave a goddamn comment in that motherfucking comment section. 
And I'm going to see y'all in the next video, man. It's Mandy Boy J2 Saucy. Make sure that y'all check in to every video once you get that notification. I love y'all to death. Thank y'all for watching. How'd it go now?